Hello guys, welcome back and in today's short tutorial, I am going to show you how to work with large file in GitHub. If you are working on a game project, then many times it's a common issue that you want to push a large file in GitHub, but GitHub throws an exception that it cannot uh, push a large file bigger than uh, 50 megabyte or so and so forth. So in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss exactly how you can overcome this problem with a simple git extension called git lfs. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to install the git lfs extension in your uh, computer. So I'm gonna uh, show the Mac process because I use a Mac laptop. <laughs> uh, you can also find the other uh, operating system installation procedure in this github link I am gonna sh give this a uh, link in the description box below so here is the uh, procedure for Windows and other la like uh, operating system like Ubuntu and so on and so forth for Mac you can simply download this uh, package from this website their official website and go to your terminal and type brew install git lfs and it will take some time and it will install the system in your computer i have already installed it in my computer so that's why it's showing this message but in your computer it will show something different and all this command that I'm gonna use is in this uh, website. It's pretty simple procedure, but yet I decided to make this video because uh, there are a lot of people like me who doesn't use a terminal a lot. So they might get confused with the instruction. Okay, great. So now that we have installed this in our uh, computer, just check that if everything is okay, type git lfs. So yes, it has been successfully installed. It is showing all the command that is available for this particular extension. Great. So let's create a repository in a GitHub. I'm gonna name it hello lfs. now uh, this was my project by the way um, unity also has a github support built in uh, you have to download a package and do some stuff here but somehow it was not working with my computer so i'll definitely try to uh, make another video on how to make how to work with unity and uh, github in the same window so that will make your life more easier maybe Okay, uh, so this is my project and here I want to create that GitHub. Mm. I want to inst instant, uh, sorry, I, I want to initialize the GitHub in this um, folder. So I'm gonna just uh, change the directory to this folder. Just drag and drop this in the command line to give you that link. And now the first command is git init. It will initialize the git. You'll see that there is a git um, folder appears in the directory. Next, we'll um, need to add all the files. But before that, we'll need to install the LFS in this particular repository. So, uh, so to do that, you need to do the git LFS install so it will show you that the git lfs is initialized in this particular directory great now let's go back to that website and you'll see that this is the first step we are already done there is only two step left two or three so let's do the next one so for my case i have already figured out that there is a lot of file if i want to push it in a regular way in github I'll see that there is a lot of uh, big file in my project. Um, for example, there is a .so file that is bigger than 100 MB. So 
you should have to find out that which are the particular file extension that is causing the, um, the, the problem, right? So for me, I already know. So I'm going to show you that, that file extension, first of all. So it's inside library and here. So these two files, one of them is uh, 69.7 and another one is 61. So this is no dot map and dot so file, right? So I have to add this um, extension in the LFS. To, to do that, you need to uh, use the track command and the star means all the file that has dot so extension you can also do uh, just uh, give the name of that particular uh, uh, file to make it lot of lot simpler but I like this way so now it's tracking the dot so also I need to do it for dot assets I also need to do it for what is that name dot map dot map great so these are the uh, three kind of file I think if there is another kind of file I'll uh, figure it out later on so yeah so when you do this um, the LFS extension is is no know, is knowing that uh, you are going to use the extension to upload this kind of file the final step is to adding this to the git attribute so you need to add dot git attributes file and now if you open your window where the kit is installed you'll see that there is a dot um, attributes file generated now if I open this attribute file in a text editor I'll see that these are the file extension that I tracked with LFS here right so you can simply add uh, other kind of file here so you don't need to do it one by one you can simply just um, add your extension here and just save it right that's it now let's check it if it worked so let's try git lfs track dot fbx so it's saying that dot fbx is already supported because i put it here in the git attribute right Okay, so that's it. Now that the LFS knows that which are the particular file you want to uh, track with the extension, you can simply do the as usual thing that you do with your uh, Git repository, which are this this steps. So first of all, we need to add all the file. So git add all. It will say take some time because my project is pretty big. Okay, uh, now you need to commit the first. Okay, sorry, my bad. Okay, the commit is done. Now I need to just add the remote and push it to GitHub. Okay, now you can see that here is the um, first the first line it's saying that uploading LFS objects that means I have uh, five different kind of uh, big files that is assigned to LFS system and LFS is uh, compressing that file or whatsoever and uploading it to github so this file size is almost uh, 96 or yeah it's above 100 so it's now uploading the file and it will take some time when the process is done it will 
see that the all the big files that you, that was troubling you to be uploaded in a normal way in GitHub is uh, uploaded in GitHub in a really nice manner. Now that you know that how to uh, upload large file in GitHub, uh, you might also want to know that there is a situation where the file itself that you are going to upload in uh, GitHub has no extension. For example, um, in my case, there is this OpenCV2 file which doesn't have any kind of extension. So that's why this um, when I try to push this uh, repository to GitHub, it showed me this error that um, this size is 70.69 and the GitHub recommendation is uh, 50 megabyte, right? So if there is no extension, how can we do that? It can simply achieve by just um, tracking that whole directory, right? Rather than just uh, giving the extension, we'll give the link of that particular file in our local directory. So this is the link of my file. So now it will um, it will not track it. Will, sorry, it will uh, track this uh, particular file and it will um, be uploaded with the LFS system. Rather than just putting them one by one, one thing you can do, you can just simply go to the parent folder. For me, this is that folder is this opencv.framework, this one. So I can go there and I can just give a start here that will um, track all the child file under this uh, parent directory right so it will track all the all of them now if i try to do the same thing i'll see that it will work now as you can see there is 10 file right there was six file before now it's 10 so now it will upload and hopefully it will be uh, showing all the file in my github remote great so as you can see my uh, project has been uploaded to github and uh, there is a there was a lot of large file right so that's it this is a really quick and short video i know but it might help you a lot when working with large file in unity and might you might want to push it in github so if the video helped you let me know if you have any comment and any suggestion for me for my next videos also let me know uh, and thank you for watching my video i'll see you in the next class